Look, th this is funny, but we've all said or done funny things in our past. Is it relevant? <laughs> That's what we're going to find out. I mean, the, the, one of the interesting things here is that she was elected not because of this. She was elected or nominated uh, to run uh, based on the issue she was talking about. She raised $750,000 on the Internet in the first day. Uh, she has raised almost $2 million since the primary day. She is going to have her opportunity to tell her story the way she wants to, not the way it's being played here. Who knows what's going to happen? This is an election. The one thing I do see happening out there, and the, the, this could be good, this could be bad, but this is the Democrats' 2006. In 2006, no matter what we said, nothing worked. I see that happening with the Democrats. You are involved up there with Mike Castle. Correct. The, correct. the Republican the, who had won 12 times statewide over his career, she beat him. What's right. in the water? Well, these are the type of things that actually helped her in that primary, and they'll help her nationally in this, in this election. She'll raise a lot of money. People see the, the insiders, the, the, the man, coming after her, creating her as a victim to some extent, and they want to defend her. And, and honestly, she'll raise more money because they're attacking her like this. I think people think it's a silly issue, and I think actually it's a winner for her at the end of the day when they do this. I, well, I want you, Roland, I want you to listen to your close friend, Rush Limbaugh, who yeah. was on oh, the yeah, uh, Rush, yeah, Rush, Rush, was on, Rush was on the radio today saying, wait a minute, all these people going after Christine O'Donnell, look in their past. Joe Biden has dabbled in plagiarism. Obama's good friend Bill Ayers has dabbled in domestic terrorism. Valerie Jarrett, Obama's best female friend, has dabbled in communism. And Sarah Palin also tweeted this, telling Christine O'Donnell, Time's limited. Use it to connect with local voters whom you'll be serving versus appeasing the national media seeking your destruction. You know, John, John, I, John, she won't go on that, you know, she had, a, she, was, uh, she had three events, right? She had to go to church, she had to go to a picnic, but, oh, she couldn't come on uh, the major news shows on Sunday. She's going to duck just like a lot of these other folks. Look, my point on this, it is not your mother's Republican Party anymore when you're nominating these kinds of folks. I mean, I hate to well, tell you, know, guys, John, well, but the Democratic but Senatorial is, Committee is now on the air in Delaware, so yeah, they must think right. the race is a John, But look, first, 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 first of all, John, as, as an evangelical, I'm amazed that Tony Perkins of the Family Research Council has not, sit in a, has not sent a press release, release out criticizing her and her witchcraft. Trust me, if that was a Democratic but, candidate, it would be a huge story. But, but you know what? At the end of the day, this will be driven by the question of economics. What this does for her, it keeps her on the front page. It keeps us talking about her. We're talking more about her than her Democratic uh, opponent. Uh, and so that's really uh, how it plays. But she is going to get a hit if she does not answer significant questions in real news forums. Even Sarah Palin said, right. go on Fox News, she even ditched them. Right. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm not sure there's not something different this year and that people are... Not unhappy about sending people well, controversial I mean, people to I Washington. Think, I, I think the question is whether John's right on this. It could be that these voters just say, you're, you know, we're going to go against the establishment. We're going to go against Washington. Whatever you guys say on these big news networks, tough. We don't like it. But I still say if the woman was sued by her college, said she had a college degree when she hadn't, didn't pay her taxes. I mean, you know, what qualifies her? to be a United right. States senator. She's, she's, right. she, she's right. not one of them. She's not one of them. I understand, but my the bottom line, the voters of Delaware are going to decide that. Voters of Delaware will decide in 43 <laughs> right. days. Gentlemen, thanks all for coming in. A quick time out there. 43 days, we'll have you all back. It is a fun campaign year. It keeps getting more fun.